In this video, I'm going to explain pseudocode. So how to write pseudocode, what it is, and um, hopefully you can see how useful it is after this video is done. Um, so first of all, this is a description from Wikipedia. I thought it was a good definition for it. But it says that pseudocode is an informal, high-level description of the operating principle of a computer program or other algorithm. It uses the structural conventions of a programming language, but it is intended for human reading rather than machine reading. So it's essentially a way to kind of get your thoughts down on paper before you start writing the code and start of start getting like all nitty gritty with the syntax that you have to use in MATLAB. So we're going to write this whole program just step by step how it's going to work, um, but just with with basic English sentences, or not even sentences, just little notes. Okay, so let's imagine that you get this as a homework problem for like any programming class. Um, so it says write a program that asks the users to input the coefficient values a, b, and c of a quadratic equation of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Then the program should calculate the roots of this equation and finally, the program should plot a graph of the function y. So after it gives us the roots, we want to see what this function looks like. OK, so for the first part, we need to get some information from the user. The user needs to put in the coefficients. So I'm just going to write simply get a, get b, and get c. So the get just means get it from the user. Um, obviously, we can't write git into MATLAB. Um, it won't. MATLAB doesn't know what git means. It's not a function in MATLAB, so it's not going to work. But again, this is just for our own reading of the program. OK, so after we have the values a, b, and c, we want to do some math, right? Um, I like to break up the quadratic formula into two parts. So it's negative b plus or minus the square root of 4ac divided by 2a. Um, so I'm going to do the part under the square root first. So I can simply write calculate the value under the radical. Radical. So radical is like the square root sign. So after we do that, we need to calculate the, for right now, I'm going to write the plus value. Oh my gosh. And then calculate the minus value. Okay, the reason why I'm calling it the plus value and the minus value um, is because we have the plus or minus the square root of 4ac. So there's two calculations that go into the quadratic formula. And so we have to compute both of them. Okay, so once we calculate those, those are actually going to be the roots. So then we can say output um, the plus and minus values as roots. <laughs> uh, bear with my typing skills. Okay, so we're outputting those. Then after that, we're going to make a plot of this function right here. Okay, so we need to make we need to make some actual arrays of each of the values so that we can put them into a graph because we need the x and the y and then you combine them into a graph. So the next part is make an array of x values. And just for simplicity, let's say we're going to go from negative 10 um, to 10. Um, with a step step size of 0 0.1. So make an array of x values from 10 to 10. 
Okay. And then the final part is to make another array of the Y values. So make an array of Y values um, that are a function of, y, of X. And then finally, we're going to plot X and Y. Okay, so this is it. This is our pseudocode for the program. It doesn't have any actual MATLAB syntax in it, but it tells us how the program is going to run and what it's going to do, what, which, what, what comes first and what comes next and what the final thing is. Um, so on the next video, I'm going to go through and actually write the code based on this pseudocode. But this is just a good example of what you might write for a simple problem like this. Um, for your pseudocode. Um, thank you for watching and, and be sure to watch the next video.